Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining me. It's Lee. And in today's segment, I'm going to show you how to put the white printheads into an HP Latex 700 white or 800 white printer. The reason you would do this is because you maybe it's first thing in the morning or for whatever reason you haven't been printing white and so you've had the recirculation printheads or the dummy printheads in the printer and now it's time to print white. So let's get started and actually see how that works. The first thing that we're going to do is go over to this screen on the front panel and then click on the ink information and then click on the printheads. Notice on the bottom slots 9 and 10 there have that little circle icon uh, that shows that the recirculation printheads are currently there. So we're going to go click replace and it's going to do a little bit of wiggling here to prepare for the printhead replacement. And now it's telling me go ahead and open the cover. And here we can see I'm opening the cover. And then I'm going to go down to the bottom of the machine to where the, the offline rotation chamber is, the recirculation chamber. And I'm going to go ahead and pull the, the, uh, the little box out of there, which is where my two white heads are placed. All right. And then I'm going to open this latch on the carriage so that I have access to my print heads. I'll go ahead and remove my recirculation print heads. And now that I've done that, I can get the functioning print heads out of the machine, out of the box, and then go ahead and place them into the carriage. When you do, make sure that uh, white one goes into the white one slot and white two goes into the white two slot. Just put them in in the same order uh, that you see. The left goes in the left, the right goes in the right. If you don't do that, the printer will give you a warning that your print heads need to be realigned. Uh, as long as you put them in the same place that they were originally aligned, it will keep the print head alignment for you. Once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and close that lid and, and close that latch and then close the cover. It's going to give me a, a little warning here or a, a, you know, an infographic saying make sure that I put my print heads back. Uh, now in this case, uh, my, my print heads in the offline rotation chamber really are just my recirculation, but I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And then it's going to check my print heads. Right, so right now it's doing an electronic check of the heads, and after that it'll actually do a mechanical check. So it will run a, a full drop detection, um, and at that point we are ready to print once it comes back. Now that I've described how to do this, uh, I've taken some time in order to describe that and, and I've kind of paused some video along the way and things like that. So now let's see it actually real time and see how this works in, in action. Uh, this is a different printer uh, because I was actively printing uh, when, I, when I filmed this segment. So it's a different printer, which is why there's a, an odd warning decal from our service department on there. So here we go, this is live. Walk over to the machine, go ahead and choose the print heads, go to replace, give it just a moment. I'm grabbing my print heads already. Okay, it's done a quick electronic check. It's ready for me to replace the, the print heads. So I'm gonna go in here, open these up. I'm gonna swap out my print heads. Close the latch, close the cover. and then close the cover again because I realized it got hung up on something. And now it's done.
So that's it. A minute 11 of user intervention, and to be fair, probably five seconds where I didn't realize that the uh, that the lid was actually still open. So I, I don't know, we'll call it a minute, call it a minute five. Um, very, very quick to do this, very simple to do this. At that point, the machine is going to do a little bit of its own checking, It, it depending on, on how long the, the heads have been stored. Uh, it might take a minute or two for it to actually come back and be ready to print. Uh, when it comes time to pull the white print heads out, you're going to do exactly the same thing, but in reverse. So I'm taking the print heads out of it and putting them back into the, the box and, and replacing them with the recirculation print heads. Uh, that procedure does take a few minutes longer because one of the things that happens on these printers is that the heads are warmed up and uh, so there's actually a cool down procedure before you take the print heads out. It's not necessary to do it, uh, but what the engineers have found is that it, it does uh, help with the longevity of the heads if you allow it to go through the cool down procedure. So I don't know, I think it's about 10 minutes, but again, you don't have to be there. You, you initiate the, the cool down and then just come back when, when it's done and move on. So again, your your user intervention there is, you know, a minute, a minute and a half, something like that. So that's it. That's the entire procedure for you. Um, this is the last in my, my planned white ink videos. So if there are any others that you want to see, please comment down below, reach out to me, whatever. Uh, I am always willing to help out. So hope to hear from, from anyone who, uh, who wants some help and thanks for joining me today. Bye.